Hi. Today you can see we have some cheese, a little brie, some rondou, some butter, a monk with a feather, a round cheesy thing with a chunk taken out of it, and some garlic, a white onion, some ham, some spices, some cream, mustard, and macaroni noodles. As you will see, I found some mozzarella and decided to go with the spiral noodles. You will need to boil these beforehand. These unfortunate pieces of bread did not make it to the crumb stage, so we will not see them again. As you see, we've prepared all of our cheeses. The, well, all the cheeses, whatever they call. Garlic, a lot of onion, and some ham. Now we've got some butter, flour, and a hot pan. Let's get the butter in there. We are now going to try and make a roux. I've never made a roux before, but today we are doing a roux. Apparently, it takes a lot of time, and I've condensed this a little bit. But it is basically butter and flour, and a lot of whiskey. An incredible amount of whiskey. So you just add flour when you need to. Turn down the heat so you don't burn it. Whisk and whisk and whisk with a little whisk. I use a fork. Eventually you put in your spices. In this case, thyme. And you just whisk and whisk and whisk. It's very soothing. And you can pop open the salt. And then that as well. Eventually, we should get it thick. But we will put in some cream. You can use milk, or you can use cream. It doesn't matter. Just whisk it for at least 15 minutes. Constantly. Don't step away, because you will lose it. Eventually, it will get thick. And then, and then, yes, it's thick. Ah, now we have a super hot pan now, and we put some oil in it. It should start to smoke in a moment. Once it starts smoking, you know that it is ready. And that is when we put our aromatics in there. Oh, let's whisk that again. Oh, well, let's go back here. Let's Yes. Those onions and garlic. Mix them up so you can smell them. Oh yeah, coat them in oil. They're going to smell really good, really fast. Hopefully you don't have a neighbor. Or a neighbor that likes your food. Oh, let's whisk this again. Never mind. Well, keep stirring both of them. We're multitasking today. Let's throw in our ham. This is pre-cooked. And there's not a lot of fat, unfortunately. I would like more fat, but this is good. Brown it. Brown it. Mix it. The Chinese actually do this. They always put the meat into the aromatics after they've sautéed a little bit. It's very tasty. So, we stir, we mix. We stir, we mix, we shake. Go back here. Now we're going to be getting our cheese in here. We have a lot of cheese that we like to put in here. In fact, I think we should have put more cheese and more milk. But I didn't. This will do. Well, look at that. 
Mmm. Sauteed, brown, and delicious. Oh, I can smell it now. Over here we have our cheese melting into. We've taken off the heat and we're just going to mix it in. You can find this on YouTube, how to make a roux, because I just made it up. I learned it from YouTube. And YouTube can as well. So we mix, and we mix, and we mix, and we mix, and we mix that a little bit more. And I think we'll be cutting somewhere soon, but I'm not sure. Ah, of course. You won't see this, but you dump everything you have into the noodles. I only had this huge baking pan, and it was a mistake. So never use a huge baking pan like that. That is mixing in the onions and the Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it goes, that is the cheese mixture. As you can see it's spread out way too much, but that's okay, you just mix it in. And honestly we should have used half the noodles. But today we're not using half the noodles, we're using twice the noodles that we need. And stretching it out. Pretend you have a family. And if those breadcrumbs had worked out earlier, they would be delicious on top. So now we put it in and bake for 350 for oh, 25 minutes and pull it out. And as we can see it's sort of dried up. And I had been doing something else at the time, and I'd left the burner on the right for a little while, and I brought out a plate, we're ready to plate up, this is going to be delicious, look at this, oh yeah, ham, garlic, onion, what, not my favorite plate, not my favorite plate, oh, man, I'm doing this on video too. That's just not fair. Anyways. Yes. Yes, it's a broken plate. And it's my favorite blue plate. So, what you do is you simply go wash another plate. And watch it, because that's hot. Because that burner was on for a good half an hour while... The noodles were baking. It's not a pleasant sight. So we have a freshly washed plate here. And we will now... Oh, look at... Can you smell that? The cheeses. The cream. The sauce. The bacon. Well, it's ham. It's not quite big. But yummy. Yes, it's very good. Mix it up. Take a look at it. Now that is macaroni on a plate that is broken. It's very, very nice. So, I encourage you all to make this stuff up as you go along because I really did on this one and uh, perhaps. The next meal will be a little bit.